the Cultural Equity Grants Program started at the Arts Commission. And this was the first set of grant money that the Arts Commission had to give away. By 1998, it was not only the Cultural Equity Grants Program, but the Cultural Centers Program that had happened, which meant that communities of color went from zero to like four or five million a year, just over a very short period of time. Instead, we focused on building the arts community, the queer arts community, and out of that came Fresh Meat and Radar, Queer Women of Color Media Arts Project and the Transgender Film Festival. And, you know, those organizations, some of those people are like part of the landscape now, whereas in the year 2000, they didn't exist. It was artists who raised the questions about equality, about gender, around sexuality being different than gender. I mean, we can think about all of just in our own life what we've seen go on here in the last 30 years to see why the arts are important and they're worth investing in. <laughs> I think it really is important to have government funding that is specifically targeted at people who live and work on the margins because it's so easy to overlook what those artists have to overcome to get to the first space. You know, before they can start the race, just getting to that starting block can be very, very difficult for cultural reasons, economic reasons. The Queer Cultural Center asked me if I wanted to apply and they would help me apply. If you are white and you work in a black community and you are racist, you need to be ashamed I thought, okay, well, I'm doing writing. San Francisco is so full of writers. What are the chances? I wasn't banking on it. But when I found out that I got the grant, it meant one, a group of people who were experts in the field believed in me. And for an artist, that's the hardest thing, you know. Cities flourish when they have a creative class, when they have a layer of artists who are creating space and energy that supports other artists and attracts people who are fans of the arts. As long as there are young people in this city who are interested in our future, we're gonna have some strong and progressive and vanguard artists. I cannot imagine my own work and the organization's work can be even possible without the support from San Francisco Arts Commission. And I feel like to hear those voices and to be the voice for those and to be the enabler of those voices is something that we can be very proud of for the city. I'm very grateful and at the same time very proud that we are among our peer organizations. I feel like if I imagine 25 years from now how the San Francisco Arts Commission will be the San Francisco Arts Commission has become a people's commission. I think that will be a huge legacy to leave behind. Yeah.